In this video, I will state what Shai Shalev Schwartz and Shai Ben David dubbed the fundamental theorem of statistical learning, and I put a link to the book in the description. I restrict myself to a basic version of the theorem, which hopefully gives away the gist of it. A hypothesis class is agnostic, path learnable, if and only if its VC dimension is finite. In fact, I could even add uh, that the sample complexity required to pack learn H is linear in the VC dimension of H. If you don't know what pack learnability or VC dimension are, please check out the previous videos I made on these topics. Very roughly, a hypothesis class H is pack learnable if it's very likely to learn a very good approximation of the real underlying prediction function using a polynomial sized sample. On the other hand, the VC dimension of a hypothesis class is roughly a measure of how diverse the set of hypotheses are. Slightly more precisely, it measures the size of the largest set for which nothing can be said a priori, assuming that the hypothesis class contains the right underlying prediction function. At its core, what the fundamental theorem of statistical learning says is that the sample required to pack learn a hypothesis class should be a number of times the VC dimension D. I guess that, as a rule of thumb, if you choose a sample size that's 100 times the VC dimension, you should be fine with your statistical learning. This is in the case where you can choose how large a sample you can get. Perhaps more relevantly, the theorem also says that if you have a certain amount of data, the prediction function you learn probably should be drawn from a hypothesis class whose VC dimension is 100th of the sample size. I should note that the sample size is slightly affected by whether or not you expect the prediction function to belong to your hypothesis class. Indeed, to guarantee the epsilon approximate correctness of your machine learning algorithm, the sample size you'll need is roughly d divided by epsilon if you know that the prediction function is in your hypothesis class. But you'll need a sample that's as large as d divided by epsilon square if the real prediction function isn't. So again, if you want 10% approximate correctness, you'll need your sample size to be at least 100 times the VC dimension. Evidently, the more data you'll get, the better you'll learn.